Douglas Vinci, he's been a long time main, but he broke that a few starts ago. How have you managed to get him going in the form that he is at the moment? Look, he's um, he's been a, a work in progress. He, he he tends to work really well in the mornings, and he he um, he gets the races, and he's been a, a little bit disappointing to say the least. But um, he got a, a really good ride, and things fell into place when he won. And um, since then, he's held his form. He, he ran a, I thought, a, a creditable race last time, and I think the quick backup is is um, is when he won. So I've I've gone for that option again. The race happened to present itself, so he's going for a quick backup, and um, let's hope that that does the trick. What about switching to Happy Valley and stepping up to 2200? Oh, the distance is definitely not a worry. He's he's uh, he's run second over that course and distance before, and um, I think the longer the better for him. He just gets warmed up as as the winning winning post comes to the, comes uh, in sight. And the cheek piece is going on as well. Yeah, that, they are. Um, he's. Look, anything that'll that'll get him a little bit interested, he's he kind of um, loses the race probably the first 600 meters. Um, so anything to, to, to keep him in contention and, and get him focused. And you'll be legging on board Harry Bentley. That'll be his first time riding at Happy Valley. What sort of advice will you be giving him on the track? Oh, look, I'm I'm pretty sure Harry Harry will walk the track, and um, I'll give him as much insight as I can into how to ride the track. But uh, he's been around. He's a good enough jockey to to know what he's doing. So I'll leave it up to him. How many fired Douglas? He's at three starts. He looks like a nice young horse for your stable. Yeah, he's a lovely horse. He's unfortunately got a pretty awkward draw to contend with, but um, he put a, hasn't put a foot wrong since he stepped in the yard. And a lovely natured horse and does everything correctly. You've been riding him in the mornings recently. How's he felt? He's feeling great. He's actually progressively got better every time. So, look, he's got a lump of a 133 and gate 11. That's not going to help his causes, but... Uh, I think he's improved, so you know that's that's all you're looking for. What will you do from that gate? Do you think? Again, uh, I'm not on board. I'll give a Vincent advice, but once those gates open, it's all up, it's up to him. Uh, the way the race unfolds, and I'm sure he'll work out a plan. Karis HZ Turbion, he mightn't have beat much last time out, but were you impressed by the way that he won that night for you? Yeah, of course uh, he won pretty impressively. Uh, he had a sweet run on a rail. Uh, had everything everything went his way, and like you said, it wasn't a very strong race, but the feel he gave me looked like he's going to improve nicely. Is he the type of horse that's got a, a strong finishing burst? Yeah, I think so. Um, to be honest, I don't think he was uh, ready 100% yet, and to win like that just showed a bit of courage. And I think, uh, like Danny said, he's, he gave him a little break now because he's only a young horse, and that should help him. Just looking at his recent trial at Chung Fa, I know obviously he didn't ride him, but he looked like he was wanting to get his head up and do a few things wrong. Is he still learning? Yeah, like I say, he's, he's still a young horse and he's still going to have to learn uh, the racing pattern properly. Like I said, he had everything his way last time, so it worked out well. So when things get a bit tougher, he's going to have to get stronger. But I believe that he could and, and become a better horse. So is that a concern then stepping up in class and also with an awkward draw, gate nine this time? Yeah, 100%. I think he's going to have to deal with this draw. And I think quality-wise, he's got the quality to win the race. Uh, but I think he's going to have to deal with the draw and that could be a bit tough for him. Blake, Lifeline Vision, we'll see him at the races for the first time in Hong Kong on Wednesday night. You've done a bit of work with him throughout his time here. How's he felt to you? Yeah, he's felt, felt pretty good. Um, you know, he's obviously coming in in Class 3, which is can be a little bit difficult for a horse at, at that rating, but he seems like he's will be capable enough at, at that rating. I think his trials uh, suggest that at Chung Fa leading into um, tomorrow night, and he's drawn a nice barrier, and I think he should make his presence felt. He's never been to Happy Valley before, but he's raced at Mooney Valley. Does he feel like the type of horse that will handle a tight track? Well, I think so. As you say, he's raced at, at tight tracks back in, back in Australia, and he puts himself in a in a competitive position and jumps and, and rolls like forward. So, look, it's always hard to say when they haven't done it uh, in Hong Kong and around Happy Valley. Uh, uh, sort of a it's a bit of an indifferent type of track, but he gives every indication that, it, that it'll be fine. And your own form, Blake, congratulations, another winner on the weekend. Are you happy with the way you've been going lately? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I am happy with how I've been going. I, I feel I've been riding uh, quite well. Um, you know, getting a winner at most of the meetings I've been riding at recently and capitalising on the rides that I've I've got, always would like a few more rides, but that, it's not to be at the moment, but we're, we're doing well with what we've got.